What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back again with some more Mobile Legends and today we're going to go over something that everybody's been asking for, which are custom builds. First, we're gonna start out with Striker today and we're gonna go over a custom build that I use. It's part basically of the recommended build and then I throw my own stuff onto the end of it depending on basically what we're gonna get into. Now, you are gonna to wanna to alternate depending on who you're fighting against, if you need more defense, if you need more offense. Uh, for this group, okay, we do have a tank and we do have two ranged. Well, he swapped back to the Pyrex, so depending on how he goes is going to be how I build. If we have a tank, I'm gonna to have to go defense. If not, we're gonna go full damage. All right, here we go, custom build against Jewel, Jonic, and Ember. So there's three ADCs. All right, with two two magic casters, Ember and Jewel going against us, we're gonna wanna probably build into something with some magical defense to help take those ultimates that they're gonna be spitting out at me. All right, so first I'm gonna upgrade the uh, toy missile because it's gonna hit everybody basically if they try to run right here. If everybody piles up, which they didn't, if they're all piled up like this, you hit them, it has splash damage on it, so it'll hit all of them. All right, I'm gonna let both of them go top, and I'm gonna drop bottom, and we're gonna start farming up. We need to get to level four to get ulti. Uh, so ultimate levels are level four, of course, you get your first level, uh, level of it, level eight, and then level 12. Once you hit level 12, all your skills, abilities should be maxed out. And here we go. Starting out, we got Jewel down here with us. It always targets Jewel to begin with because that splash damage, it's gonna hit Jewel as well, but it's gonna hit the minions if they're close to it. So that's the best thing. Second, I go with the dot. Uh, movement speed, I say for the third one because I mean, that's more damage I'm able to put out early game. So, I mean, you just keep stacking damage and they're gonna keep trying to push we're able to just stay in until we need to go get the buff now here comes the build all right movement speed I always really go with movement speed first on striker because he needs to move around all right we've got the uh, surfboard which goes off about every eight seconds it's roughly there for three seconds you can use it and see it last for three seconds so we got jewel back here again and it's just waiting on minions now And here comes the next wave of minions. Like I said, we're gonna wait here. She's gonna attack, so it's gonna target her, splash damage to everything, pretty much. She hit level four, so did I, so we both have an ultimate, so I do now need to watch out for Jewel's ultimate. All right, so we are a good bit of ways, probably about, five, well, 400 gold away now. So the next wave, we should be able to actually get the next uh, item which the next item on the recommended build is the Phoenix Blades. That helps out a good bit. We're gonna go ahead and take Jonic out right here. Just sweep back and forth. The only reason I'm taking Phoenix Blades is because the chance for the uh, the slowdown, that's huge for Striker because Striker is so squishy. Uh, you're gonna want to keep, especially melee people, as far away from you as possible. And when I upgrade from level five, I'm going straight for the toy missile again because that toy missile, I level it up to three for one thing. I can pretty much almost take out a whole group of minions with a level three one. It takes out quite a bit of their health. Let's see that splash damage did hit Jewel right there. We don't have the mana for an ultimate and it's not quite back up yet. So we're gonna go to level three with the toy missile and we're just gonna keep pushing and we're gonna go back. All right, we don't have much mana. So let's go ahead and grab this heal and next piece we're looking at in about 700 gold so about one maybe two more minion pushes and we should be able to grab it hopefully we'll get the kill shots on all of these ember is well not ember but jewel all right we're going to catch her in the ultimate and I, that probably saved me right there because it didn't go off in time now the third one is the thunder hammer now i'm taking it because of the attack speed not only that but the chain lightning that comes with it. And we're gonna go ahead and go back real quick. And the reason I take the chain lightning is because of the extra damage that it does. If you see here, it's got 30% chance to cause 100 damage on a chain attack. 
Now, that does go off quite a bit, and based off your attack speed, you can make it go off even more. And because the faster you attack, the more chances you have that of actually going off. So that's gonna be doing quite a bit of damage. And we're gonna also use another item that has a percent chance to do damage, kind of like that, but it's only single target. And that's gonna be the last item that I go with. Now it is part of the recommended build, but I haven't really changed a whole lot on it. Just for the fact of, I mean, we're able to stay consistent and win matches with this build. And you, like I said, you can appropriate it. Like if you want to go defensive with it, you can. If you notice you need that extra tanking ability, uh, you can throw a defense in there. Or like I said, going up against Ember and your uh, Jewel at the same time, that's going to be pretty tough to uh, counter. So you might want to actually build into magic defense. Uh, there's a couple different ones you can go with. Uh, looks like we might actually take this tower because Ember's just kind of hanging back. All right, we did. All right, fourth one is Frost Lance. Now this is something I'm gonna go with as well. This is the last piece of the custom build that I'm gonna use for this game because we're gonna actually really need this. Okay, can we get both of them caught in it? No, just Ember. All right, we need to get away from Jonic. If he's got that ulti, we're dead. We got lucky and it didn't pop up, so we're gonna go back. All right, so Jules dropped bottom, so I'm gonna go back top again. And we're not far from the fifth item. Uh, we're level eight. As you can see, we got two levels on everything except for the uh, movement speed, which the board, that is the very last thing I do. Very, very last thing. Now see that uh, level three, you see it pretty much almost killed everything. All right, now this is where I go custom. Now with Striker, he has no health regen at all. And as far as, like I said, the attack speed, I want a little bit more of it. So I'm gonna go into the physical attack spot and hit Chaos Claw. That's 20% attack speed, the life still and it has a chance to increase my attack speed even more. Uh, so that's really cool. We're gonna catch them all in an ultimate. Nope, just Jewel. Oh, Jewel got me with the ultimate. Now see, that's where I'll probably late game. We got both of these guys in one lane, so what I'm gonna do for that last one instead of extra damage, we're gonna build into magic defense. There's a couple different ones we can go with, but we're probably gonna go with the usual that I go with. It's got 15% uh, reduction to begin with, and I think if you level up to tier two, it's a 30% reduction, which is really huge against magic defense. All right, now they're gonna try to push. Well, they actually didn't good. Uh, so we took out the minions. Uh, we got pirates back up here with me. All right, and Jewel flashed away. And let's catch her in ultimate. Got her, she's done for and she's running all right here comes Jonic. now this is a really weird comp to go against being all uh ranged and that would have been the last piece right there the demon's bane i would have went with but since there's so much adc and magic damage in this i'm gonna go with the anti-magic cloak right off the bat you're getting 15 percent magic defense from it you're getting some attack and hp regen so i'm gonna be able to survive more of the ultimates that they're throwing out at me and it looks like they're actually trying to team fight right here. I don't have an ulti up, but I think I can take Jonic out right here. I did. And swoop up top. We've still got Ember up here. I don't have the mana for my ulti, but it's up. And she used her ultimate and we got her caught. That's what I like about the slow. That's why I use the slows. All right, I've got the chance off the Phoenix Blades and I've got the Ice Lance, which is going to help as well. Now we lost our bottom tower. Like I said, I don't record with the sound on, so I can't hear when they are attacking towers and stuff like that. So I just have to pay attention to the map. I obviously didn't. So we are up five kills on them. So we're gonna go back to top lane, push it again. We've already got that tower up there and the one on the bottom. All right, we got Jonic and Ember here. We got both of them caught. Both of them are caught. She's in the tower as well. I could have stayed back and pushed again, but I wanted to grab that heal. Why he stayed there, I don't know. That was just kind of a, a dumb move on his part. And we got more minions rolling in, so splash damage, they pretty much all go down in one hit now at this level. And this is where you start getting in the late game. All right, it's almost uh, level 12. Once we hit 12, we'll be able to have the third level ultimate. Now in the recommended build for this, it does go into the, what they call the fourth level ultimate from an item. 
and I really hardly ever build into that with striker because it's already so good and it comes back pretty quick now if you do level it up those the respawn timer your cooldown it will go down uh, but right now let's go ahead and go with more magical defense now I have 30% magical defense and Jonic you're caught Amber you ran to it as well they really don't know that I have that much magic defense so that was probably what let me survive right there because it looks like I did take a pretty good bit of damage from Jewel. All right, here is the third level ultimate. Uh, we got 20 some seconds left on it. So, all right, Jewel's done took that bottom tower of theirs. All we're going to do is push now. All right, I'm not going to waste uh, anything on it now. What we're doing now is basically I'm just trying to save mana for this push. Jewel took out the other Jewel on the bottom lane. So we're going to push top on this tower as well. And let's go ahead and splash damage these guys. Well, it didn't go off, so we're just going to save it. All right, we have one minion, and that's it. And there's Jonic already here. He did ultimate. That was that was a waste of an ultimate from Jonic, basically, because now if I attack anything with the life steal that I have from the Chaos Claw, that's going to make it a lot easier for me to get my life back. See, all I got to do is really attack someone. Let's see if this mini boss is up. See, watch attack it goes up very small but i only have it at tier one right now i can't take it to tier two next and that will give me a lot more life still here uh let's go back top and clear out these minions so we can get another push on this top tower possibly they are bottom and we have enough for the next one now so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to go with the thunder hammer now this is uh, going to upgrade it to a Raiden's Hammer, more attack speed, and it's 40% chance to cause 150 damage. So the uh, increased chance and the uh, amount goes up. Uh, our ultimate went the wrong way. I hate when that happens. Nothing was close enough to really target, and it just threw it the way I was facing. That's sad, but it happens at times, especially if you're not targeting people with the lock and unlock. And looks like we're gonna camp and get ready to take this top tower. Here they come. And let's see if we can't take out this jewel right here. Get that burst in. All right, here's Ember and Ember's down too. We can't do any damage to this tower without any minions. I don't know what they're doing. They're not doing any damage at all. You gotta wait on minions, guys. All right, here's the minions. Jonic's back. I just seen his ultimate go off, but I'm gonna take this tower out and then we're gonna take him out if he stays down. All right, let's get him caught in an ultimate. He's caught. And he's gonna nope. Yep, he died. Alright, minions pushing. Here's Jewel. We are getting a little crazy getting this deep in, but we're high enough level looks like we can sustain. And let's get out. That teleport. I always run with teleport on striker. Always because he's so squishy nice we have a regen right here and a power buff that spawned right after that how lucky is that okay so let's go ahead and attack some stuff get a little bit of life back and bottom lane looks like it's being taken out by the minions jewels coming back gonna catch it and they did kill the boss just a minute ago so one of them does have uh probably the buff if it was the fire giant i haven't looked and he got caught with ember jewel's gonna get caught by the ultimate and that's gg for them here comes the minions towers out and as far as this build guys this is basically what i would use if i were to go up against ember and jewel and you know what i'm not gonna let you survive oh she did i figured that dot would have got her before she did make it into there but it did not so we only need two more kills. All right, we got Pyrex up here, 3v1. Doesn't look good. And I'm in a 2v1 right now. I'm caught, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away. Nope, I got stunned. So that's very unfortunate. All right, and well, they got one more kill to go. I might not even make it back across before they do get this last kill. Well, they did push back, so that's good. Boss is spawned again. So let's go ahead and go boss now. Uh, Let's level up Fire Blades next. That's going to be a little bit more damage for me at this level. Uh, so let's go ahead and dump everything we have into this. This is the Fire Buff, which basically gives you the same 
ultimate as Dread has. If you die, it will revive you. So that's why we're gonna kill it. I'm not sure, it doesn't really matter who picks it up. Jewel, I don't care. As long as we get this last kill and get the win, that's all I'm here for is the win. Uh, as far as kill still and stuff like that, I honestly, I don't care about the kills to death ratio. And looks like one of them's finna get caught right here. And this is GG. Guys, this is a custom build slightly for striker i use a lot of what was recommended because it works with him you can start out like that or you can go with your complete own custom build there's unlimited ways to build these things and just depending on what you're going up against now if there would have been a lot of physical characters in there like melees you could have went into physical defense to help you out there which i rarely do I normally go with the Chaos Claw and then the Demon's Bane at the last because that Demon Bane has a chance to proc and do 100 damage as well. And once you increase it, it starts doing more damage too. So if you have any questions about a build for Striker, feel free to leave me in the comments below, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.